places and enjoy a little bit from Genesis 2 and then Genesis 3, 1 through 16. Now the Lord God had planted a garden in the east, in Eden, and there he put the man he had formed. And the Lord God made all kinds of trees grow out of the ground, trees that were pleasing to the eye and good for food. In the middle of the garden were the tree, were the tree of life and the tree of knowledge, excuse me, in the middle of the garden were the tree of life and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. The Lord God took the man and put him in the Garden of Eden to work it and take care of it. And the Lord God commanded the man, You are free to eat from any tree in the garden, but you must not eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. For when you eat of it, you surely will die. Now the serpent was more crafty than any of the wild animals the Lord God had made. He said to the woman, Did God really say, You must not eat from any tree in the garden? The woman said to the serpent, We may eat fruit from the trees in the garden, but God did say, You must not eat fruit from the tree that is in the middle of the garden, and you must not touch it, or you will die. Hmm. You will not surely die. For God knows that when you eat of it, your eyes will be open, and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. When the woman saw that the fruit of the tree was good for food and pleasing to the eye, and also desirable for gaining wisdom, she took some and ate it. She also gave some to her husband, who was with her, and he ate it. Then the eyes of both of them were opened, and they realized they were naked, so they sewed fig leaves together and made coverings for themselves. Then the man and his wife heard the sound of the Lord God as he was walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And they hid from the Lord God among the trees of the garden. But the Lord God called to the man. Where are you? I heard you in the garden, but I was afraid because I was naked. So I hid. Who told you you were naked? Have you eaten from the tree that I commanded you not to eat from? The woman that you put here (laughs) gave me some fruit, so I ate it. (laughs) What is this you have done? The serpent deceived me, and I ate it. Serpent, because you have done this, cursed are you above all livestock. And all the wild animals, you will crawl on your belly and you will eat dust all the days of your life. And I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and hers. He will crush your head, and you will strike his heel. Woman, I will greatly increase your pains in childbearing. With pain you will give birth to children. You will be for your husband, and he will rule over you. Man, because you listened to your wife, and ate from the tree which I commanded you, you must not eat of it. Cursed is the ground because of you. Through painful toil you will eat of it all the days of your life. It will produce thorns and thistles for you, and you will eat the plants of the field. By the sweat of your brow you will eat your food until you return to the ground, since from it you were taken. For dust you are, and to dust you will return. Adam named his wife Eve, because she would become the mother of all the living. The Lord God made garments of skin for Adam and his wife and clothed them. And the Lord 
Lord God said, The man has now become like one of us, knowing good and evil. He must not be allowed to reach out his hand and take also from the tree of life and eat and live forever. So the Lord God banished him from the Garden of Eden to work the ground from which he had been taken. After he drove the man out, he placed on the east side of the Garden of Eden cherubim and a flaming sword flashing back and forth to guard the way to the Tree of Life. Good job, everyone. And um, we know that the results of what happened in the garden are tragedy, but there was a little comedy involved there, wasn't there? Uh, and, and it wasn't that they embellished it all in the text, they just read it uh, as it was written. So that's, that's really interesting. Uh, we'll get into that in just a moment. Last week, we were in uh, Genesis um, Genesis 1 and 2, and we talked about how um, we are made in God's image and how, how God made man and woman in the image of God to relate to one another, to reflect God relationally, morally, intellectually, and spiritually, how God, um, how we see in Genesis 2, God bending down and taking clay from the ground and, and breathing spiritual life into us and, and, and setting us in paradise and everything is wonderful. Um, and, and can you imagine then, what we didn't, the, the part of the text we didn't read last week was when God creates woman and Adam looks at her and says, wow, you know, bone of my bone, flesh of my flesh, this is what I've been waiting for all my short life. Um, I, I, now I know, wow, this is so cool. And, and so we pick up the story and things are still pretty chill, chillaxing in the garden, right? They're, um, you know, you can, and, and he doesn't have to work hard. They don't have to work hard to get the food. They just kind of pick from the trees and get whatever and here, you know, and they cook. And can you imagine the paradise? I mean, from a man's point of view, you know, young wife and she's naked, she's cooking. All that's missing is a lazy boy and a football game and a fishing rod, you know, just... <laughs> For the man, I'm sure for the woman it was paradise too. You know, it's paradise for everyone. Nothing is wrong. But then comes Modena, I mean the serpent, um, into the picture. She, what a great serpent she played, uh, adding sound effects and everything. And then come, and where did the serpent come from? If this is paradise. What is the serpent doing there? Pure evil. Of course, representing. Uh, the spiritual adversary of God, Satan. And, but if everything's perfect, where did this evil come from? Well, we get some clues from various portions of Scripture um, that seem to indicate that there was some happenings in the heavenly places, some, some conflict in the heavens between God and some of his angels even before all this creation happened. Okay, and we get this from Isaiah and from Ezekiel. And what we've come to understand is that before creation happened, uh, of all things, and certainly before this all happened here in, in Genesis uh, chapter 3, there was conflict in heaven.